Time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this Labor Day. An NBA star is taking a break from his job to care for his wife. The New Orleans Pelicans say guard Drew Holiday will be taking indefinite leave. His wife, former U.S. Women's National Soccer Team member Lauren Holiday, who is eight months pregnant with their first child, needs surgery to remove a brain tumor. Holiday is a former UCLA soccer player who won two Olympic gold medals in 2008 and 2012. Her surgery is scheduled for six weeks after their daughter's birth in mid-October. In a newspaper interview, Drew is quoted as saying, my wife is the most important thing in the world to me. She comes before anything else. He also went on to say of his wife, she's the toughest woman I know. That's the reason why I married her. Next to some significantly lighter news, but a distressing revelation for fans of The Devil Wears Prada. Because over the weekend, Stanley Tucci was given a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Deauville Film Festival in Paris. But speaking with a Hollywood reporter, he shot down any notion that there will ever be a sequel to The Devil Wears Prada. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Did someone eat an onion bagel? Tucci says, quote, A Devil Wears Prada 2 is never going to happen. Describing the original as being so great because it was so beautifully written, incredibly funny, and with real substance, and perfect in every way. So... And you can't improve on perfection, darling. No, apparently not. You cannot. No. You cannot. Next, an attempt to improve another original. Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, Joseph Baina, who's the spitting image of his father, has recreated his dad's iconic scene from Terminator 2, almost literally frame by frame. That's it, gosh damn it. Um, that's very good. Frame by frame. Frame by frame, and Joseph, you may remember, is the son of Mildred Boehner, who is Arnold Schwarzenegger's former housekeeper with whom he had an affair while still married to ex-wife Maria Shriver. And amazingly, it took ages for anyone to realize that that was Arnold's son. It is kind of unbelievable now that you realize how much they look alike. But Joseph is now 18, and he made this clip to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Terminator 2, Judgment Day, just days after the 3D reboot of the movie was confirmed for release next year. But I'm just so curious how they put that together. It's so exact. I don't know. It's magic. It's the movie, Stan. It's magic. I'm kind of excited it's to magic. see it in 3D. I may have to take yeah. a trip to the movies for that. And finally, another blast from the past from ABC's parent company. A Lost World of Disney will be made public for the first time in a collection of celluloid images and sketches from films from our parent company that never made the cut. Those images have been tucked away for decades inside the Disney archives. They include beautiful color images like this 1940 watercolor of the Blue Fairy working her magic on Pinocchio. And this 1947 painting depicts Mickey Mouse and friends Goofy and Donald Duck facing a castle in the sky for the Jack and the Beanstalk segment of Fun and Fancy Free. Now this story sketch was for the short The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which became so expensive it was made part of a concert feature in Fantasia in 1940. And a snapshot of the man who started it all, Walt Disney himself from 1942, working on sketches of Bambi.